<sighs> RC four-wheel drive Mojave body set. The Toyota Hilux. I just finished opening the cellophane. Let's have a look inside. This particular body set is part number ZB, as in boy, 0007. It's gray. Instruction book. The original Trail Finder 2 comes with uh, a yellow body. This one you can get as a nice flat gray, almost as a primer. Windshield has Lexan covering, uh, or pardon me, it, it has a plastic covering the Lexan. And the rear of the truck, the box. Speaking of box, let's get rid of this one. Okay, so I've done one of these before. I made a replica of the uh, top gear to kill a Toyota Hilux. Everyone has seen that trail finder that I've done. In fact, I showed it earlier in this series. But now it's time to get into the parts. Parts bag, all the chrome pieces, the bumper. I won't need these right now. Set these off to the side. Same with the dashboard, but will I, what I do need, okay, this is the dash and steering rack. This is the front uh, where the headlights go. Here is the back of the truck. This is an insert piece right here. We're going to paint all of these together. Get rid of these. I don't need these right now. Now, a lot of people have asked me to do painting tutorials, uh, and they always say it's too advanced. Even though I haven't done too much advanced stuff, uh, we'll start with something simple. Three pieces we need. One of the things I have to do, of course, is cut this middle piece out. So you want to make sure to uh, cut the area so you can cover the exposed part with paint. Now a lot of folks actually can use this to hold on to it and paint around it. Today I'm going to do that. I'll cut this out at the end and paint over the open areas with my spray paint can later. This is one piece you want to make sure to go around, check that there's no burrs, pieces that are sticking out that you don't need. Looks pretty good, the mold was done well. You do have this part in the middle, a small circle. If you wanted to get in there with a grinder, get in there, you could get rid of it, no problem. A little piece of sandpaper, I don't care too much. I know that this truck's gonna get beat up anyway. Ah, with the back part, no dust. You could wipe everything off with a, an isopropyl. I don't really care. <laughs> We might as well start off. I was gonna go with something completely out of the ordinary and I'm gonna go with this body, a light blue. This is a Tamiya TS23. Or Tamiya, depending on where you are in the world. There we go. Shake the paint well. I'm obviously outside in a well-ventilated area. It doesn't get more ventilated. We'll do one piece at a time. Here we go. One side at a time. Nice, even strokes. Remember, start your spray off of the actual model itself. That's to avoid any drip. Remember, you don't have to coat it on super thick when you first start. You just need a light coat and then let it dry. All right, it's been five minutes. Doesn't feel sticky at all on the outside. <laughs> Uh, I got myself a cut piece of cardboard here just to prop this up, flip this over, and there we go. That way I can paint the, the uh, other side. 
nice light coats. This is where people rush it, right? You don't need to rush it. Start off the side. If you rush this process, you're going to end up with drips and runs in the paint. And you don't want that. There we go. Angle. Making sure to cover all sides. And again, we'll wait for that to dry. All right, we can set this off to the side. Like so. Time to move on to the cab. Now, I wanna paint the inside, just where I'm gonna be able to see through the doors. Maybe I'll do the whole inside so I get a complete look. I always do the inside first. That way, if there's any mistake on the outside and overspray, I can always correct it when I'm done. Nice smooth strokes. Never stay in one place too long. If you don't cover it, don't worry. You can let it dry, move it, and then spray it at that time. It's kind of like watching paint dry. <laughs> Okay, I'll move it so you can see better. Try to cover as many angles as possible. There we go. Let that dry. Just really a waiting game kind of patience but it's a long-term benefit when it pays off okay i just finished doing the underside of the box just the first time first uh, coat flip it over i'm going to use this damp paper towel just to wipe off any dust that may be on it just takes a moment, but looks so much better when you paint and it's smooth instead of dust specks. Ah, the birds are chirping. Spring is in the air. Glad to be outside after a long winter. I think that's some of the, the best parts about this hobby is actually getting to go outside and experience what's outdoors. Okay, there we go. Might as well start on the box. Nice, easy, smooth strokes. <laughs> That's what she said. I'll just turn it so you can see. Not bad. Get that off over there. Bring the cab in. In fact, let's put this even farther back. Right there. not worried about the overspray at all. It's the same color and it's not spitting out. Beautiful. We'll just let that dry. All right, so for what's left in this single can that I've used, I'm just gonna do touch-ups where I think it needs it. Everything else I've checked over is looking great. I could see on the box though, could use a little bit more extra paint. Now, there we go, right along the bottom. 
Nice. can of paint covered one truck perfect there we go like that I like it we'll let that dry completely and I have a new project 